Hello and welcome back to the channel. Good morning to you all. I'm going to be talking about a very, very important topic today. I'm going to be asking the question, are you sure? Are you sure about what? How often do you examine your life to make sure that you are on the right path each day? I'm asking this question because the world is just so full of chaos, so full of the cares of this life, that there is just a vast array of things that we can think about from day to day. Most people, when they rise in the morning, when they open their eyes for the first time, when they breathe in fresh air for the first time, there is no thought given at all to why they still exist. There is no gratitude. There is no type of feeling or any type of thankfulness granted to the giver of life. I'm talking about our creator. Most people just get up and they just go about their day, whatever they have planned, whether it's going to work, going to school, um, getting out in the garden, getting into some Most people do not give any thought to the most important thing of all. Am I on the right path today? <clears throat> and so that's why I asked the question, are you sure of what path you are on? That are you sure is in reference to what path you are on. Are you sure? How often do you even examine your life to make sure that you are on the right path each day? So let's get into this. Let's get into this. So it doesn't matter if you have a daily routine. Um, most people have a daily routine which involves school or uh, work or something like that. If you're retired, uh, you may have a daily routine of, of things that you do around the house. If you're into farming or your own business, you might be running your business or farming or gardening, whatever it is, a lot of people do have a daily routine. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are on the right path. If you follow this channel, you know that I believe that our creator, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of you and I, I believe that he is to be feared, revered, and loved, and respected. I believe that we are supposed to be grateful for another day because today was not promised. And for none of us, tomorrow is not prom promised. There is no promise that you're gonna wake up tomorrow. Now, in terms of us being on the right path, you have to ask yourself, first of all, what path is that? For some people, they don't have any goals, any aspirations, any type of thought of what their life will be. They just kind of go with the flow, roll with the punches and go with the flow. Meaning whatever comes in this day, that's what they deal with. They don't make any plans for anything. Of course, when you make plans, you must say if the most high wills because he might have something totally different planned for your day, right? But Basically, what I'm trying to say is this. Some people don't even have any thought for what they're going to do with their lives, what path they're going to be on, whether it's a good path or a bad path. Some people have no type of concern as to what their life is going to be like tomorrow. And when I say lack of concern, I'm not talking about because they're having faith. I'm talking about because they have chosen to be dormant. They have chosen to do nothing, make no preparations, make no moves. Uh, they are literally sitting in the seat of do nothing. Uncertain, unsure about anything concerning their lives. This is what I'm talking about. Now, for those of you who do believe that you have an established um, path, you do believe that what you are doing in your life from day to day is leading you somewhere. You're going somewhere where with this. 
Do you believe that there is a higher calling based on the things that you do today? Ask yourself, is that the right path? Because the Bible says there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death and destruction. See, there are those who believe that what they are doing is the right thing. And that may not always be the case. There are those that believe that the choices that they have made, that they've settled into, that they are pursuing were the right choices and the best choices for their lives. But that is not always the case. It is a sad thing to go about your life thinking that you are on the right path only to hit a dead end. Imagine traveling on a road <clears throat> and you've been traveling for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles going one way on that road. And let's just say, just for the sake of what I'm talking to you about, let's just say that there are no exit points off of this road, that once you get on this road, this is the path that you have chosen and the destination that you are going to get to is only going to be accessed from that road. So can you imagine being on a road traveling for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles only to get to that road or to the end of that road and find out that you have just arrived at a dead end. That is a frightening thought to spin your wheels, travel a road only to get to the end and find that there is an end, that there is a dead end that you have to turn around and go all the way back after traveling miles and miles and miles and miles. You see, that is the path that many have taken. Many have done exactly that. Think about the times that you have pursued endeavors only to find out that they are not going to work out. You spent your wheels, you've invested your time and your money and it was a bust. Think about those who have been in relationships where you've invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of feelings and emotions and love into that relationship only to get to a point where that, relationship's in, that relationship ends in a dramatic way. It is at those points to where you feel confused, lost, and just so unsure about the choices that you have made. Regardless to what your situation is, whether it is a, a, a dead-end relationship, a dead-end job, a dead-end life cycle, regardless to what it is, ask yourself, examine yourself and see where you are headed. Are you sure that the path that you are on is the right path? How often do you even examine your life to make sure that you are on the right path? Some people don't even bother to examine. They just live their lives. Don't be a person who just get up and you're just okay with the status quo. You're just okay with spinning your wheels. You're just okay with doing the same old mundane thing from day in and day out with no change at all, not even helping someone else. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that you have to get out here and do just all these big, giant, magnificent things, but doing something is easier than we may think it is. Can you help someone else to affect change in their life? Can you teach someone or show someone the way to righteousness? Can you encourage someone to do something that is good for themselves? Can you encourage someone to not do something that is bad? Don't do it. Can you encourage a person to have a reason to live? You see, there are so many things that we can do with our lives, with our time and our energy 
but are you examining yourself? How often do you even do this to make sure you're on the right path? Question yourself. Okay, so what did I do yesterday? Did it amount to anything? Now, like I said, I'm not saying that we got to get out here and just move mountains. I'm not talking about that. What did you do yesterday? What are your plans for today? Even, listen y'all, listen. Even if it's sticking a seed in the ground, what are you doing to ensure that you're on the right path? Now, of course, for some, it goes a lot deeper than that. Depending on the calling that you may have on your life. Ask yourself, examine yourself. Are you sure that you're on the right path? What am I doing? What am I talking about? Who am I hanging around? What is this plan? Is this worth my time? Should I stick and stay in this job? Is this what the Most High has for me? Where do I see myself a week from now? A month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now. Now, of course, all of this is based on whether or not the Most High allows us to live another day. Based on whether or not he gives us this time. But if he does, are you making the right moves towards being on the right path each day? That is the question that we must ask. Are you making the right moves each day? Uh, this has been another episode of the Proverbs 31 School of Wisdom. Uh, this is Shabbat morning. I want you all to enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and remember this. The Most High says, I will keep you in perfect peace if your mind is stayed on me. That is all for now. Until next time. <laughs>